Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, no children of all ages, I'm Stank84 and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity where last week we managed to get the medallion for whatever his name was and today we're going to hand that back as well as head back home and find out what's going on there because yeah we were warned that we could be attacked so let's go and hand the medallion back first and then we'll head home okay first win we've got your medallion now pay up good day to you yes there we go Ooh, if only we had resolve never mind his eyes widen You've given my people a gift we couldn't possibly repay. I'll do the best I can. This is everything I have. Please take it. Oh. This isn't quite... Oh. It doesn't... I wish I knew how much, but the problem is we don't actually have any money ourselves. And I could do with some. But, on the other hand, they do need it. Oh, I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Keep it. Your clan can use it to rebuild. The Shattering Spear will sing of your kindness for generations to come. If you ever find yourself in Urglafa, please honour us with a visit. Farewell. Yes, there better be something good if we head up that way. Okay, right. That's that one done. It's very nice. Okay, right. There's We're a not sleeping mob here, are we? Waiting for us. Okay. All right. Let's see what the heck is going on. And are we just gonna have to kill them? I wouldn't pay, so they set my crops on fire. When my boy tried to stop him, they knocked him over the head. He's alive, but he can't think straight no more. Your boy got lucky. My guards, good men both, got put to the sword after that he'd surrendered. I paid those thugs what they wanted, but they still took everything I had. There she is. Yeah, what's going on? I, thought, I already know what's going on, I can tell you now. Yeah, he sent thugs to attack these people and say it was us. We, we want justice. You've been terrorising us and we won't stand for any longer. Go on. You sent your men to my farm to collect a crop tax saying that we was overdue. For me, it was a road toll. I've been travelling up and down this way for years and this was the first I've heard of such a thing. Okay. They weren't my men. If it happens again, it's not my orders. You heard it direct from me. No, not that one. Um, what makes you think it was my men? Yeah. What makes you think I sent them? They said they were acting on the orders from the Lady of Cadnoir. That's you. Okay, yeah. They weren't my men. Then who were they? They were no common bandits. Okay. Well, if it happens again, yeah, they're not my orders. Say we believe you. What about what we've lost? What about my crops? And my goods and the families of my guards? Ooh, could just walk away. Nice. <laughs> well, okay, let's see what we've got. Leave before I hang the lot of you. I'll make these men face justice. I don't care about your idiot son or trade goods. Nah, let's go and make sure they face justice. Might as well. We appreciate that, but can you offer us any compensation? Just a little. Oh. Um, I've got no money, so... Yeah, we're just going to walk away. Okay. Bye. Angry mobs, inevitable thought in every ruler's side. Yes. Um, the good people can't blame them. Your subjects are fortunate to have a leader that understands the compassionate side of nobility. But for now, they will have to wait. They have news about Lord Gathbin. 
Let's discuss in the Great Hall. Okay, yep. We knew it was him. We knew that. It was pretty obvious. The slave is still here. He's still waiting for us. Well, he's not getting any help. Okay, Lady Rose. Yes. I received word that Lord Gathbin is amassing an army of mercenaries near Yenwood Field. It appears a peaceful claim to Cadnoir is no longer possible. The Earl has sent me to aid you in forming your own force to counter this threat. I'm in an advisory role only, of course. The Earl won't officially take sides. Okay, let's have a look. Hmm. Yeah, why won't he officially legitimise my claim? It's a delicate situation. Legally, Lord Gathbane's claim is just, and he knows it. Stripping land and title from a noble family is dangerous, perhaps more so than killing the man outright. With Gathbane dead, the Earl only need worry about blood vengeance from family members that actually cared for him. Those, if court gossip is to be believed, a few and far between. Losing a family claim to land and title though, such disputes incite hatred from the entire clan and their political allies, not to mention the unease it causes amongst the other nobles. If Gathbin is to be denied, it will be you who must prove your legitimacy to the Earl and all of us who dispute your claim. This is what it means to be a noble. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, how much time have I got? Enough, it's rumoured Lord Gathbain will suffer a series of unfortunate and completely unforeseeable setbacks before his army is complete. Still, I'd not tarry too long. Okay. Talk about my army. Where am I getting the troops from? I've sent out a call for volunteers from the lands around Cad Noir. Hopefully, people will release that being under your rule is preferable of that of Lord Gathbin. Any hireling stationed at Cad Noir will also accompany you to battle, so I suggest you acquire as many as possible. Okay, we've got one so far. Right, um, I'm going to have to go and get some money. Yeah, what's the status of my troops? Two green and two few. If you go up against him now, losses will be heavy. However, victory is still possible. What special allies do I have? Okay. No one has offered their help, I'm afraid. It may be possible to find an ally in Defiance Bay among the knights, the dozens, or, if you're really desperate, House Dominell. I've also heard rumours of a force of Recrins currently in the White March. If you find your way that far north, perhaps you can sway some of them to join our cause. Okay, and what about recruitment? I know of a company or two that would be willing to join us for a bit of coin. 10,000! Bloody hell! Yeah, I don't have that much. Okay, he doesn't have either. Okay, that's it for now. Alright, well, let's go and see if we can find some allies and some money so we can try and hire some people. Okay, now the question is... Nope, that seems to be it for now. So, right, let's just... Ah, there we go. New question. If we give it a moment. There we go. Right. Oh, okay. Something else has been added there. Fine. Okay. I need that on my own. Marshall Forwin, assist me. Coordinate things. Blah, blah, blah. He'll wait until I command my army to march. Okay, yeah. Ah, okay. Right. So... Sign someone there, and I can get some money from it. Okay, fine. Ooh. Right, no companions in the stronghold. Fine. Then what is... What are you, then? For you. you know what? 
Let's hire e I don't have enough money for you. Of course I don't. Okay, you know what? Bye. Lily, go over there. Right? I was saying last time, we need, you know, a thief for another sort of character for now. And I don't really know who I can get rid of. I've got me Ranger, I've got me two mages, I've got me Bard, and obviously there's me. I wanted to keep her, but... Alright, if I do that a minute... Okay, and now, yeah, I'll assign you to that. Fine. Okay, let's go and get some money, because I'm pretty sure we've got, you know, a fair few things. Okay, well, it looks like um, we've sold everything. I thought we might have had more to sell. So, you know what? Oops, no, don't want to do that. Let's just get rid of them. Thank you. That should be enough to hire ourselves a new party member. So, let's just get in here and have a look. I think it's only going to be a level one, but it will do for now. Oh, no. Okay. Better than I thought. We can get ourselves a level four. Alright, that'll do nicely. Okay, right, say hello to Celicia. She's going to be our rogue. So, yep, she's a Hearth Orland, whatever one of them is. But, yeah, I thought she's short. And we said we wanted a thief, so she can be our rogue, I think. Now, this is set up as level one. I'm hoping when I click done... It will give us, yeah, everything we need to upgrade her to level four. Here we go. Yep, that looked like it. Yep, there it is. Right, okay. Oh, I'm going to have to do this one at a time, aren't I? Right, let's just quickly skip through this bit. I'll get this done and then... And we can have a look what she's like then. Here she is. Right, so she's got a might of 15, a con of 11, dex 13, perception 15, intelligence 12, resolve 12. What I think is pretty decent for the rogue. I would like to have added a bit more, but... Wouldn't we all? Right, stealth is up to 5, athletics 3... So, yeah, athletics, I was going to put that higher, but I wanted mechanics and stealth up because she's got some good abilities I can unlock in the next two levels or so. Survival, basic at two. Yeah, just wanted to get that up to the second one. I'm not bothered about her survival going up any higher than that. And I'm not interested in her using any scrolls. So, yeah, I'm not interested in using lore. She's got Dirty Fighting, so 20% hits are converted to crits, plus an extra 10% of hits converted to crits when attacking the same target as an ally. So that's like, what, one in three attacks are going to be crits of hers. So her abilities, Blinding Strike, Dirty Fighting, Minor Threat, Second Wind and Sneak Attack, and she's got two weapon styles, so she gets a bonus to all of her stats when she's got a weapon in each hand. And Vicious Fighting. What? Oh, yeah, that's the one that gives us the extra, gives puts it up to 20%. Dirty Fighting is 10%. Because we've got Vicious Fighting, it goes up to 20 Okay. And anything else? No. Just that one. That's fine. Right, that is our newest member. So, okay, let's get out of here and figure out where we're going next. Now, I do know there's somebody around here who we need to speak to. 
So, yeah. Gareth in Copper Lane. Apparently we've got a package for him. I can't remember where we picked that up. Ah, the trading company. Right, yes, I remember that now. That's fine. Right. At the Goose and Fox. I mean, is that there? Wait a minute. Goose and Fox. It is. Oh, you're in there. Right, never mind. Let's go and find him. There he is, just up here. Hello, we've got something for you. Okay. Yes, we have a delivery for you. Keep your voice down, will you? The dole mills have spies everywhere. Oh, we were, we were told about them. They might be able to help us out. Took the patch away. You tell him this is the last time I'm buying from him. This is getting too dangerous. Bit of squash seeds, okay. Well, we have heard of them, but yeah, what have they got to do with all this? You have no idea. Let's just say that they have exclusive rights to trade in certain merchandise within the city. He likes to make some extra coin from time to time by dealing in the same merchandise. Undercutting the competition, he says. Okay, right. So it's not illegal. Ooh, is it illegal? Ooh, they've got exclusive rights to something. Hmm. Don't know. But anyway, are we done? Yep. Get out of here before. Oh, we're going to end up in a fight, aren't we? Oh, Okay, a woman swaggers in, her polished boots thwacking the floor. Garth, I'm hurt, you promised to buy only from me. What's a girl to think? Please, I was just explaining that I don't do business with anyone else. Except this one last time, right? There's always one more deal until you run out of credit, that is. And just who are you? You don't exactly look like a seed dealer. I think that's a complaint. Oh, yeah, not to be trifled with. But no, let's try and just keep this thing here. Just someone making a delivery. He's put you up to this, didn't he? The old fool's on a sinking ship and he's determined to drag anyone who gets close enough with him down. Gareth here knew better, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. In fact, I'll also give you a chance to get even. What do you say to killing him? Oh, okay. Um, interesting. <laughs> what if I kill you instead? That could be something we do. But, no, tell me about them first. Let's see if we can get some information on them. I don't know whether to be relieved or insulted with one of the wealthiest merchant families in Defiance Bay. Let's just say, however, that some of our business practice and not officially sanctioned. Okay. And yeah, why would I want to kill him? Why wouldn't you? He's used you to do his dirty work without telling you anything about what you were carrying or who you were crossing. Of course, I'd consider it a personal favor and House Dormy is never stingy with its friends. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I mean, we could. Hmm. Could we use this to get them on side for the battle ahead? Okay. Um. Oh, I don't know. I'm tempted to say okay. But I'll decide his fate once I talk to him again. You'd better make up your mind quick because we're going to pay him his dues one way or another. Just make sure you stay out of our way. Okay, right, fine. The thing is, yeah, he's um, not done anything to us. He's been perfectly fine. And everything. But we do need them on side. I wonder if there's a way that we can fake his death. 
because there was an option to lie about it. Same would, but we're lying. So that tells me, yeah, there's a chance to fake his death. And we might hopefully still have that chance. Oh, wait a minute. The person at the front's not there. Okay, well, that's not a good sign. And uh, no, I can't see anybody who sh wasn't here before, so... Gods keep you. Yes. Um... Why'd you... How can I trust you? You didn't tell me things would get messy. Yeah. Let's have a look. Which one? Ooh. Yeah, let's just be straight with him. I've delivered it, but now, the yeah, Domiels are wanting you dead. Okay, I was so careful, always following. Yeah, they couldn't have known. Cool. All right, I guess we're going to have to make a choice now, well, then. Well, well. Is this your last day among the living, Verzano? Okay, I guess I'm not going to get the chance to kill him then. Well, you know, fake his death. The timing's impeccable. Oh, right, no. Right, she's with him, apparently. Right. As if any of this were ever in my hands. The Republic's considered your business worth protecting based on its success. That success depended on cooperation with the locals, like House Dominel. You've lost that. And the favor of the Dukes. Okay, yeah. Tell me more. The meaning's simple. Verzano's cut off. Shut out. His fate is left to the Dominels, and whatever unlucky friends he may still have in Defiance Bay. Okay, maybe she's not here to help. Have mercy, I don't stand a chance against them. I brought failure and shame on myself, but you can't mean to watch your countrymen die like a dog. Verzano, Verzano. Why are you wasting your precious breath on me? My orders come through the ambassador, and through the ambassador from people you should be honoured ever gave a moment's thought to whether you live or die. You don't seem like the sort to petition the gods to keep him out of hell. So why not cry mercy to the one person in this room with the power to grant it? Ooh. Okay. Oh. Right, um... I've got to make a choice oh no 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 i don't want to make this choice on the one hand he's done us nothing he hasn't done anything for us really and he can't help us going forward but what he was doing was selling. Ooh, yeah, I mean, he wasn't doing anything illegal, was he? He was just going against another group. But. Oh, I'm not leaving. I'm either going to defend him or attack him. But. We need them on side, and if I defend him and attack them, then I don't think I'm going to get the, They're not going to fight for me, are they? If I've just killed a load of them, the rest of them are not going to sit there when I turn up and fight with me. They're more than likely either going to double the price or more, or just outright refuse, or attack me on sight. 
Well, to be honest, I couldn't blame him for. But I don't want to... Oh, this could be a mistake. Oh, I hope this works out right. Do as you will. He's no longer my concern. Are we going into a fight or... Oh. Sauntered through the door, flanked by a squad of foot soldiers. She let her glove hand rest on the hilt of her weapon. She nods a prune at you. Had to change your heart, have we? Don't let me interrupt. Okay. Brave oh, wow. Okay. Right, we've um, got a bit here. So, a couple of soldiers. Is that? Oh, that's, that's Rose. Okay, I did not recognise her in that hat. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Excuse me. That is not the hat helmet she is wearing. Why the heck has she got that on when... Okay. Fine. Oh, flipping heck, I've not um, set you up, have I yet? Right, quickly, why I've got a moment. Let's try setting you up. You've got your weapons, that's fine. I've got no other weapons, unfortunately. That's no good. No. I say that, um, I've got nothing you can have. Right, well, good luck. You're going to need it. Okay, well, while we're here, let's get... Yeah? The... Oh, I needed to rest. I haven't got anything back after that fight. Oh, that's not good. Right. Wolf up. Yes? Thankfully, a lot of these are, yeah, free. So that's fine. What? Oh wow, you've got nothing, have you? Right, well you might as well do Holy Radiance. No, not yet actually, you can wait on that one. You just... Oh... You know what? You just start attacking... Oh, that's you stood there, is it? Right, in that case, you attack up there. Yes. You start attacking him. Ready, watcher. You start a wounding shot there. Just say the word. And you've got, yeah, once per encounter, blinding strike on him. And Wolf, you can attack as well. Okay. Let's see how that goes then. Right. You've done that. You're running off up there. You're attacking him. Okay. Rose, get onto him, please. Yes. You've done your attack. Now. No, 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 no. That's not going to work. Expose vulnerabilities, yeah. Up on them too. You're in the fight, but that's never mind. Can't get that for you. Oh, wow, he's gone down already. Okay. That was easier than I expected. Right, okay. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest, but. Just say the word. You know what? Fine. Yeah. Everybody. And you good. Right, nicely done. Could always use a friend like you. Next time you find yourself in Brackenbury, talk to my brother. He should have a job or two. Oh. Hmm. Okay. 
Interesting. Right. Remember that one. Okay, let's see what we can get off the bodies then. Hopefully something... Something very good. Nice. It's, ooh, another Grimroll. Right, well, um... Give that to you in a moment. And... Okay, I think we've got... At least one new ability. Maybe two. Okay, fine. Okay, that's them all. There. What have you got on? Come on. Oh, pause. That's why. Okay. What? Um. Come on. No. You. Okay, you've got some half decent stuff now. Come on, you've got to have some good. Ooh. Pistol. Right. Well. Um. You, isn't it? Yeah, you're the one with the pistol. So you take that. A pocket watch. Eh! It can be sold. Fine. We'll take that. Okay. Anything else in here? In fact, actually, where... Just say the word. Ah, thief. What? Yeah, used to, because hmm? at the moment, used to are the best I'll go on ahead. at finding secrets. Just in case of something we missed last time we were here. Eh? Can't see anything. I shall be discreet. Around. Right, let's get out of here then. And you know what? It was saying about going up and seeing her brother. So, we'll see if we can find out where that is. Oh, Brackenbury's there. Right, okay. Yeah, we've been there. I thought I recognised the name. Right, the question is now, where is... Oh, it'll be there. That's where it'll be. Right, okay. Well, we know where we're going then. Now, a Brican. Don't know where you are, so... Good day to you. Ah. Okay, I don't recognise you. What business do you have here? Oh, yeah, just loot the place. No, no, no. Dana sent me. Ah, right this way. Okay, that's easier than I thought. Whatever crimes they committed, their interior decoration is impeccable. Okay, that's um, strange to say, but fine. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. It said follow me, but... Alright. I guess it just means I can come in the back now. Oh, wait a minute. I just saw somebody there. Okay. I know it's stealing, but... Ah, I'm not going to steal oil. Oh, it's... Yeah, there you are. Right, fine. You. Right, a young man leans against a look, eh, an expensive looking cabinet. He holds a jewel studded goblet, blah blah blah. Oh, he's got a pistol, be careful. Right. My sister has spoken highly of you. No small praise coming from her. We could use someone like you. Yes, apparently you got work for me. As it happens, I do have a matter that needs resolving. I recently learned of a rather lucrative opportunity. Unfortunately, I entrust it to the wrong people. Let's hope you're the right sort. One of my men planned a heist and he passed the instructions to the thieves using my personal letterhead, bearing my initials. I need that letter. The thieves are holed up in a house in Copper Lane Fetch the missive and we'll see about finding you a place. Okay, interesting. Right. Um, thieves in Copper Lane. Right. If there's nothing else beyond your way. Okay. Questions about the letter. Yeah, do you know where these thieves are? Copper, the house is on the east end. Okay. Near the hall. Just follow the stink of unwashed adventurers. Okay. Okay, 
What do I do with the thieves? Leave them in peace? They're still my men. Right. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Alright, this one sounds... Um, surprisingly easy. So, I'm a bit cautious. Because these ones can usually go very wrong quickly. Okay, there's the halls. And he said to the east. So, I'm guessing round here. Okay, well, let's just see if any of these, if this door lets me in. And yeah, um, join the load screens. Obviously, you always get the tips at the bottom, and you can read the one that I got right there. Did not know that, so... Off camera, I might go through his grimoires, because he's got a fair few of them, and try setting that up so, if need be, yeah, we can switch between them. And yes, that door opens. All right, let's see what's inside. Okay, right. What have we got? All right, well, that's locked. All right. Just say the word. Yeah, we brought you Quick for a reason. Quiet. Let's just stealth up this way. And difficulty three. So it's going to use a lot. Check. As promised. Okay. Alright, well, I'll take the money. That's fine. Oh, oh. Damn it, she was spotted, but at least we got the money first. Right, everyone know the plan. Up the wall, in the window. Grab the jewel from the pretty little lord. We got it. Listen, dwarf, if I have to. We have company. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. He sent me. He wants his letter back. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. If you want to work for them in the future, should just make this easy. If you didn't send me, how else would I know where to find you? I'm trying to save you trouble. There's no need for violence. Or we can just kill them. No, he said not to. Hmm. Yeah, if he didn't send me, how else would I know how to find you? You make a good point. Take this back to the boss. Maybe you can put in a good word for us. Okay. You've got it. There we go. Just okay. say the word. That was surprisingly easy. Hmm. Wonder what this is. Oh, see this. This is why we sneak around. That's it. Just disappear. Lose interest. Now you've lost interest. Oh, loose flags. Bloodstones. Well, take them. Thank you. And let's just get, actually, before we do, before we do, yeah, the table was lighting up, so. Well, it didn't say it was stealing, so. Okay, good, good, we can just take that. Good, yeah. right, let's get back. Well, I'm hoping he has given us the letter. I forgot to check, but never mind. Have you procured the letter? Yes, yes I have. It's a good, and we did get it. Nicely done. Okay. And now I have another job, as you know, after reading the letter. Oh, um, I didn't read it. Whoops, okay. Conscious thief will allow me to enlighten you. Yes, please, because, um, I didn't even think about reading it. That's not like me. Never mind. Lord Raymond is sitting on a gem the size of... Yes, that body part. It's called the Heart of White March. Ah, that must be what they're going for. It's also the subject of a bidding war between the Knights of the Crucible and the Dozen. They're fighting for the honour of returning it to its original dwarven owners, who would make powerful allies. Of course, we would like to see that neither the Knights nor the Dwarves make friends. So... Nor the dozens make friends with the dwarfs of White March. Such an imbalance of power would not be in our best 
interest. Our contact in the estate will leave a window open, sneak into the upper level of the manor and find the jewel, then bring it to me. Okay, it looks like we're going on a heist. Okay, remember stealth is the key, the last thing my... I mean, that I want is a bloody feud with the neighbours. Come back when you have the heart. Don't fail me. I've avoided my share of Clapping Scouts, mostly by running, but searching a heavy guy to say is not quite like combing through an empty tomb. Okay, if there's nothing else... Nope, that seems to be it. Right, so we're off to steal a heart, and not the romantic kind of stealing a heart. So, I think we'll do that next time. So, yeah, today's been a bit of a weird one. We've ended up killing someone who asked us to do a job for him. And now we're joining a thieves house guild. I don't know. But, whatever the case is, it looks like next time we're going on the rob. So, I hope you join me back here for that and whatever consequences happen from it. But in the meantime, I've been Sam Katie 4 this has been Pillars of Eternity. Thank you so much for joining me, look after each other, and until next time, goodbye!